APJ Abdul Kalam, India's 11th president, brought about many changes to the president's official residence, Rashtrapati Bhavan. Among them is the spiritual garden. The garden has plants associated with various religions. The idea behind the garden was to showcase that just like different trees and plants exist together in harmony, so can human beings. This garden is important different species which are different religions. Like the Paras people, the Christmas tree, the Kalp Viksh, the Chandan, the Pudraksh, the Kalp Taru. So there are different different species which are important in every religion. So the idea was behind that all the species different parts of the country से collect की गई है और उनको एक ही park के अंदर यहाँ पे plant किया गया है और these all species have come up very well तो message is very straight कि जब सारी species all together एक साथ अच्छे तरीके से रह सकती है then why not the human being? The Rudraksh tree associated with Lord Shiva greets visitors as they enter the garden. The spiritual garden boasts of 40 kinds of plants and trees like khair, bamboo, sandalwood, henna, ashoka, kadam, fig and date palms amongst others. You are seeing this tree. Its botanical name is Picus Krishna, which is a part of Krishna. And the most peculiar thing is its leaf, which I will show you. So if we look at this leaf, it is in this shape. It is in this shape. और जब हम लोग जब मथुरा या कई कृष्ण भगवान के जब मंदिरों में जाते हैं तो जो उनका चिन्नाम है वो इससे हमको भोगने का मौका मिलता है। Surrounded by a biodiversity park, the bonsai garden and the herbal garden on all sides, this musical garden brings in liveliness to the area. The musical fountains dance on classical tunes of the Shehnai, the Veena and even the Vande Matram.